Hey guys, so this is a Trader Joe's haul and it's a big one. Yes, so this is my cold stuff. I still have my um, not cold stuff in the bag. And the last two Trader Joe hauls I did were kind of mini, but this one's a nice size and I got some new stuff to show you. So this is regular stuff. I get the grass-fed organic milk, the whole... Um, $4.99. It's the cheapest grass-fed milk that I've organic too that I you, you find in stores because sometimes they're like five to six dollars. Um, I got the organic half and half for John's coffee. And then we love the orange strawberry banana juice, vitamin C, organic. Um, so I got those. So those are regulars. But this is new. Let me just move this garbage. It's in my way. There you go. So, I've told you a couple times I go into Trader Joe's and I buy just minimal stuff and I haven't videotaped it. But one day I went in um, right before work and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a salad for lunch for work. And I'm going to get a couple of them because we have a refrigerator at work. And let me tell you, these were good. So now John wanted me to get some for him to bring to work because buying lunch outside is expensive this one i loved feel fresh chopped salad with grilled white chicken israeli couscous currants parmesan cheese pecans with a sweet basil dressing this dressing is so good um so i really love it this is actually two lunches for me um i mean you can eat the whole thing but i just noticed as far as diabetes goes, you know, the carbs, um, total carbohydrates is 45 grams in this whole thing. Um, I, you know what, that is an actual meal, but I actually ate it in two. Um, yeah. Anyway, so good. So I got one for me, one for John. So we're going to bring these to work. One for me, one for John. And then this one I got for John. I figured he'd like this. Uh, Mexicali salad with chili seasoned white chicken meat, mixed greens, cabbage, corn, peppers, pumpkin seeds, Parmesan cheese, sun-dried tomatoes with jalapeno Caesar dressing. I hadn't tried this one, but I thought maybe he would like that. And, uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no. I bought three of these. I was going to grab the uh, lemon chicken um, arugula. Oh, man. Oh, well, these are still really good. Okay, so then there's three of those. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What? Um, that was weird. Because I remember seeing the lemon chicken. I just grabbed it. I, they're both orange, actually. The, the sticker is orange. So, obviously, I grabbed three of those. My bad. But this one's for me. The peanut udon noodle sal. Oh my god, um, I love it, love it. So that's coming to with me to work. Yeah, so yeah, John gets two of those, and then maybe I'll run in and get a the um, lemon chicken um, arugula one. That one has a spicy dressing to it, and this peanut dressing is a little spicy, but not too bad. But it was it's so good. <laughs> Let me tell you. And that's like two lunches for me, too. Anyway, and then these, John wanted me to get wraps. He's a wrap guy. I'm not so much of a wrap person, but I got him the tuna salad wrap in wheat tortilla. I got him, there's usually a pesto one, but I haven't seen it. But this one's tarragon chicken salad wrap. So white chicken meat with celery, almonds, parsley, tarragon, and romaine lettuce in a flour tortilla. Hopefully he'll like that. And then I think he'll like this one, the buffalo style chicken wrap. One of my coworkers had this one, and he said it was really, really good. So, yeah, the the pesto or the Caesar one he said is really good, but I never I haven't seen it in quite a while. And then they had these burritos, so I thought the boys might want to try these because if they do, then I can get them some of these. Um, this one I thought they'd be really interested in the cheeseburger burrito. Uh, cooked seasoned beef crumble with cheddar cheese, onions, tomatoes, and dill pickle relish in a flour tortilla. Then there's a pollo asado, a tender chicken with black beans, corn, chili salsa, peppered but jack cheese, and rice in a flour tortilla. This one was for me. Um, I'll probably 
pick the flour tortilla out. But uh, some samosa burrito, vegan samosa inspired filling with potatoes, cauliflower, carrots, and peas, and a savory spiced tomato chutney. Then this one, chicken sausage breakfast burrito with scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, and potatoes in a flour tortilla. And then last but not least, carnitas with salsa verde. Uh, tender sp spicy pork, black beans, cilantro, lime, brown rice, and pepper jack cheese in a flour tortilla. So I figured they could try these. You know, that'd be nice to try. Wow. For lunches or whatever. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Look at that one, cheeseburger burrito. Yes. Um, sour cream. Oh, and wraps. Yeah, I don't know if you like these wraps, but these are for daddy. Daddy asked for wraps. You underestimate for me. <laughs> Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think you like these wraps. Really? These, these are not your flavors. Really? Oh. Yeah, they get stuck together. Uh, so sour cream. Oh, yeah. We like to put on quesadillas, tacos, and whatever we need it for. I got peas for um, dinners. Uh, oven roasted turkey breasts for sandwiches for lunch. Sean and John like those. Uh, mozzarella cheese log. This is sliced, so uh, Sean likes these for lunch with lettuce. And then this, the unexpected cheddar. Love it. I mean, you just slice it and eat it. Need I say more? Then the organic veggie blend. So for dinners. Um, then I got the chimichurri rice. I love this chimichurri rice. Um, so I got two of these because they're going to go for a dinner with the tilapia fillets. So tilapia fillets with a side of chimichurri rice and maybe more vegetables somewhere, and that is dinner or a salad. And speaking of salads, this one was interesting. Barbecue and black pepper Toscano chopped salad. Green and red cabbage, carrots, uh, broccoli stalks and kale with cornbread croutons, black pepper Toscano cheese, and a barbecue sweet onion dressing. I was like, whoa, that was good. So we're gonna try that for a meal one day. And then romaine hearts for sandwiches and salad and what have you. So this is the cold Trader Joe's haul. And then I'm going to put this away and take out the not cold. And this is the not cold. So yes, a lot of great new things. So John asked me to pick up some cookies. And we love the... Um, the butter cookies with the fudge in it and the butter cookies with that uh, fruit jelly in it. And they didn't have any. So I picked this up for them. Way more chocolate chips cookies. Look at all those chips. So they should like this. And Matthew's favorite. Last time I went, they didn't have them. But they're back. The Belgian butter waffle cookies. They love them so much. Unfortunately, the, not, the chocolate lovers dip into these too. So I got three boxes. And then this is new, ranch seasoning blend. Sprinkle on your popcorn, vegetables, or using recipes. Um, I'm bringing this to work. It's $1.99. I'm bringing it to work. Uh, we have a couple of spices. We have everything but the bagel seasoning and everything but the elote seasoning. Um, so we've been sharing them because uh, I like putting them on avocado toast and... Um, uh, some some you know some of my other coworkers put it on some sandwiches or salads and stuff. So I thought this would be a nice addition to our little spice cabinet at work. Uh, I like the liquid stevia. I put that in my drinks, coffee and tea, decaf coffee, and then this is for the kitties. They love it with omega six and three enriched. Look at that. Good for them. Um, this organic Italian artisan pasta, the Gigli. Look at those shapes. Those are so cool. And this is a new one. Organic Italian artisan pasta, the Cascatelli. Look at that. They're like curly. They look like, actually, they look like um, calamari. Um, so, yeah. So that'll be interesting. And this is new, too, to Trader Joe's. Bucatini, which, I mean, not new to this family, but to Trader Joe's. We love the Bucatini. I got one red onion for gyro night. I got some yellow apples because an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And then I wanted to try this. 
This one's vanilla almond, which those two flavors are right up my alley. But it's the three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS. So I wanted to try that, but I do like these. So I got some more. The coconut almond butter and chocolate chips. I love these. Um, the chocolate and almond one tastes like a Tootsie Roll. I'm not a huge Tootsie Roll fan, but that was pretty interesting. But I really do like these. Um, I bring the, you know, I throw them in my bag. I bring them with me. You never know when you need a snack. But I've been doing yoga at a yoga studio. Oops. And after I sweat my butt off and my sugar, you know, is on the lower end, this is a good snack to give me some protein. Um, baby avocados for my avocado toast. Matthew and Michael love the vanilla bean scones they take with them to work. And then Michael and Sean love the brookies. So half brownie, half cookie. So I got that for them. John's a peanut butter cup fan. So I got that for them. Milk chocolate. He does not like the dark chocolate. So I got him the milk chocolate. And then Sean also sometimes needs some um, granola bars thrown in his bag. So I figured he could try these. I think I used to get these. I think they changed the box. But I used to get them a while ago. It's been a while. But rolled oats, rice crisps, and chocolate chips. So I figured that will be good for him for a snack when he stays late at school. Um, he was going to try these. I don't know if he did, if he liked them, but he's welcome to try them if he wants. But that is the not cold stuff. Now I'm going to put it all the way. Uh, I hope you like this Trader Joe's haul. This is a big one. I hadn't done a big one in quite a while. Um, but yes, see you in the next video.